Don't no trouble with me. Trying to keep it peaceful is a struggle for me. Don't pull up at 6 a.m. to cuddle with me. You know how I like it when you love it on me. Woo! Uh, one second. First things first, uh, welcome to a new video. I've never done a video like this on my channel. The closest thing I've probably done was like trying new curly hairstyle for a week. I look... <laughs> absolutely insane so this is day i can't even tell you when's the last time i washed my hair honestly it's probably been at least two weeks and it's definitely starting to look like it and if you think we're washing it today boy oh boy you're wrong i was gonna wash my hair today but then the laundry list of things that i had to do just got so long i just said f it we're just gonna wash my hair tomorrow so i'm gonna show you guys how i'm gonna manage to save this last day of claw clip slick back bun because lord knows she is at her wits and my curls are flat baby it's it is my hair ma oh yeah she needs to get washed. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys how I refresh or just bring my hair back to life. My hair is dry, so I know exactly what I need to be doing for said refresh. I'm gonna be going in with the Swap Professionals Natural Shea Butter and Pure Coconut Oil Conditioner as well as the Leave-In Conditioner. I'm also gonna be using a little bit of the Miel Rosemary Oil because this helps my hair grow so much. I'm gonna be going in with this Continuous Setting Misting Water Bottle. This is also on my Amazon storefront. It literally just sprays so you don't have to keep doing it and it's the easiest way to get my hair wet. I like to mix these two conditioners, leave-in and regular con conditioner because regular conditioner just creates so much slip in my hair. It's actually quite insane swab i don't know how you do it but i will live and die by this line i actually need to go pick up another bottle but since my tangling is so like i don't want to say extreme a little bit more than what i'm used to i'm gonna do my hair in fourths today usually i'm able to refresh my hair in like 15 20 minutes when i split it in half but that's when i do it like on a weekly basis something tells me that's not gonna happen today so we're just raking this through right now really saturating it i'm actually just gonna go ahead and put a like the slightest bit because my hair is on the thinner slash finer side just a couple drops like literally nothing crazy this much nothing crazy at all because my hair does not do i don't want to say it doesn't do oil well but because it is on the thinner side it does get weighed down a lot e easier i want to be a finger detangling girly i just don't get down like that so i just take my brush go from ends up and usually my ends are just the worst parts because the ends of hair are just the things that get rubbed on the most like against clothes they get you know tugged on the most when you're styling them and it's just my ends get tangled very easily but once they're usually tangled the rest of like my hair shaft and roots are very easy to like you know come out just like that <laughs> she's calmed out So now that one side of my hair is fully combed out, I'm just gonna rake through with my fingers to break up these curls a little bit, and then I'm gonna braid this up and move over to the other side, which is typically the more difficult side for me, just because I tend to lay on this side of my head more, so breakage is more prone to this side of my head, so I have to be a little bit more careful. But yeah, it really does not take long for me to do my hair. It's actually going a lot faster than I thought. It's probably the conditioner is working overtime, because I know y'all saw that big ball of hair. That big knot, the, I can call it a mat. I can call it a mat. My hair was gonna lock. Something that I also like realize, hello? Something that I also like realize and low-key forgot about is that this Mio oil is used for like split end treatment. And I've never had like really bad split ends surprisingly because of the way I like treat my hair. But before anybody yells at me for putting this straight like on my hair shaft, it is a split end treatment as well as a scalp treatment. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see it clearly? I can only imagine how much my hair would have grown if I was serious about oiling my scalp with like just period i really use like protective styles as a way to grow my hair and the way that i have seen hair growth in my hair from protective styles specifically lock with literally low maintenance the most i did with them was wash my scalp every week if not every other week um and like my hairline my edges my little kitchen area and i noticed the biggest difference my hair grew so much and just like even comparing stuff such as like slick back sizes like you can really see the difference in my hair growth and people always ask me what have you done to grow your hair and keep it so healthy locks i love a braided bust down as much as the next girl but me since my hair is on the thinner side and my hair is type 3 locks holding my hair a lot better i'm gonna say it's because of the girl who does my locks naya because she does them in a way where they don't slip and they don't weigh down too much on my hair and braids i feel like 
because my hair is thinner, it's harder to hold on to the actual braid because I'm not this all the way. But it's just a little different. Everybody's hair type is different, but Fox has definitely helped me grow my hair to the point where like, maybe I want to cut it, <laughs> you know? I am going to put my hair back into that claw clip, but now that everything is like refreshed and hydrated and looking a lot you know like i care about myself i'm about to kill this evan nyc therapy session hair mask the emptiness speaks for itself there's little literal crumbs in this thing i'm gonna seal all this in with this mousse defining texture foam it detangles conditions defines and shines i don't want to add more gel to the top because there's already so much adding this little mousse to the top just to deal with those little flyaways and it kind of looks more like effortless in my opinion a somewhat close up of what my hair it's currently looking like it's not too bad it looks a lot better than earlier i feel like i could have done a close-up earlier but quite frankly i didn't come up with the idea till just now she's so smart she's so slay i'm outside in a damn G, right outside tt two turn baby girl you know me still with the dolls that i grew beside somebody told me that you're looking for ways to grow your hair you've come to the right place. When it comes to doing my hair, I am honestly the laziest person ever as you can see in this video, so I'm gonna keep this cute, short, and to the point. My first tip for you for growing your hair, moisture. If you're not moisturizing your hair, I don't know what you expect. Plants can't even grow without water, so what makes you think your hair is gonna grow if it's dehydrated? Make sure you apply your favorite leave-in conditioners, leave-in treatments if you wanna get those really good goods, and refresh your hair. You don't have to do a wash day every week, you can do it every two weeks, every three weeks, as long as that hair is moisturized, that's the best thing you can do for yourself in said hair. My next tip, styling. Stop leaving your hair in a slick bag for 10 to 15 business days. It's crusty it's brittle and it's breaking try to find some low maintenance hairstyles that you can try and get more than one day of use out of that you can literally just keep your hair in for two to four days and just make sure you refresh throughout y'all have heard the protective style talk but you never got it from me i don't know if you ever heard of this cute little thing called locks but you should definitely try it i love braids i love knotless i love a knotless buzz down but locks are really where it's at and quite frankly locks don't take that much upkeep if i'm really being honest with you you don't want to take the lock route and still get protective styles if you're going to get whatever you want which i can't tell you what to do because i'm not you or your bank account so i can't tell you what you can and can't do with your hair and your money your protective style desires but i can tell you if you're gonna keep them in for a long time keep them oiled moisturized and clean because if you're literally just keeping in protective styles for six months and not putting any moisture in it why are you blocking your blessings let's go back to our regularly scheduled program and i hope you guys enjoy hold on is it recording good afternoon it's day two i just wanted you to see my outfit before i took it off because i think it's so freaking cute no i did not take pictures in it i have on this vintage harley davids okay let me I have on this vintage Harley Davidson top. Uh, my boyfriend gave it to me because it was too small for him. This is the bath. I think it's super cool. I have a white long sleeve on underneath. And I also have on khaki cargos. Paired this with my camo Nike down. It's so cute. Like, I did not have to eat y'all up like that. You're probably wondering, Aaliyah, why is there a tarantula on your neck? I got a new mic for my camera. It's wireless and y'all can hear me no matter where I go. And it's not gonna go. In and out, key, 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 key. I'm also testing this out to see just how well the sound quality is with different noises, AKA we're gonna be using this during wash day. And of course the three camera setup that y'all know and love. So ignore the mic, because we're about to get into some dirty, filthy, and exhausting work. And I am not the biggest fan of said wash day just because uh, I just would rather be doing anything else. We're gonna wash. I've been deep conditioning my hair since yesterday, technically, so we're gonna wash that out. in a shampoo condition and we're gonna style slash do my little product recommendations and setting and everything like that. First, I have to change because I'm not, <laughs> I'm not wearing this to wash my hair. So I'll be right back. Let me get in some more comfier clothing or at least, you know, not this. Wow, I don't know my boyfriend's boxers. All on the internet in your drawers? Please, I'd be pissed. I'm about to just wear my boyfriend's and he's just gonna have to laugh at me because he thinks me wearing his clothes is funny and silly. It's not my fault he'd be having this shit on. Um, I would also like to say that I do not like to wash my hair in the shower. It stresses me out tremendously because I hate the feeling of hair. So we're gonna wash in the tub. I initially was gonna like get in the shower, have like the tripod here and me over there, but it's messy. It's not realistic. So we're just gonna see me wash my hair in the tub. Who gives a f Today for shampoo and conditioner. Y'all know how I feel about her. This is the Suave Professionals Sulfate Free Cleansing Shampoo with Natural shea butter and pure coconut oil for natural hair with no sulfates, no parabens, no dyes, and it's color safe and it gently cleanses and moisturizes. Then I have the matching moisturizing curl conditioner that detangles, softens, and enhances curls. Suave, I love you. You will always be famous. She's still wet from yesterday, but she's detangled, and that's all I really care about. <laughs>
This is my hair initially. No product. I think it looks pretty good. Something I've recently been doing, I like to go in with conditioner first, just because this conditioner is so good and it's so lightweight, it doesn't weigh my hair down. I think it does nothing but add volume and shine to my hair. Then I go in with the Suave Nourish and Strength and Leave Conditioner right after that. Not nearly as much. Usually if I don't use one or the other, I'll use like a full amount, but I'll use like a little bit of both, but like in layers. So conditioner first, leave conditioner after. So I hope that makes sense because if it doesn't, um, that's embarrassing. So yeah, and then after that, I like to go in with the <laughs> You guessed it! Suave um, Curl Defining Cream, which enhances your natural curl pattern with softness and shine, and that's exactly what it does. And then finally, the newest addition to my routine is in fact mousse. I picked up this mousse a couple of videos ago. It's the Dokes Dukes Mousse Defining uh, Texture Foam, all in one styler for all hair types. It detangles, conditions, defines, and shines all in one step. It does nothing but like add on to the stuff that Suave already does. So all in all to say, this routine is flawless. This routine, it brings me nothing but joy. And I'm gonna put water in this continuous spray bottle. Y'all always ask me where I get these from. Nine times out of 10, I'm gonna say Amazon. At this point, what can't you find on Amazon? But yeah, this is from Amazon. I'll link this in my beauty Amazon storefront. I wanna watch something while well, I do this because I love an ASMR moment as much as the next person, but I need something. Lisa Anua just uploaded her weekly diary. So it's an hour and a half. I'm tuning in. Oop. I just finished my hair. Um, you're probably wondering, Aaliyah, your hair is literally white. She's doused in product. I have to put so much product like in my hair. I have high porosity hair. Um, if you don't know what that means, my hair basically sucks up water and liquids very easily. It's very hard for me <laughs> to like go a day without refreshing my hair. So if you notice me refreshing my hair or reapplying products frequently, my hair sucks up water and hair product like there's no tomorrow. And kind of all my beauty things like makeup, skincare, hair care, I spend the most on hair care just because I have to buy it so frequently, which is why I'm a stand for suave because I tend to want to look for stuff that's like on the cheaper end of the spectrum. Like you wouldn't catch me buying Diva Curl like once a month. I love my hair. I love everything about it. But if you're concerned that my hair is going to have a white cast or it's going to be flaky or there's gonna be a little hair crust in it i promise you give it like four hours and it's 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 gonna be gone <laughs> like i i can almost guarantee that my hair will air dry and be perfectly brown officially reached the end of my wash day routine i am an air drying girly my hair takes three to four business hours to air dry and this is simply because my i don't know how to diffuse my hair properly yet i have this attachment and i noticed that it just makes my hair very frizzy or at least the way that i diffuse my hair makes it very frizzy the way i typically do it if you have some constru constructive criticism is i'll do the roots first and then i'll scrunch like the ends do you have any way that i can like get rid of that frizz because i would love for my hair to be dry in 20 minutes like i would take 20 minutes over four hours any day i typically like to wash my hair in the evenings or nighttime in the morning if i wash my hair and finish it at 10 my hair is probably not going to be dry till like two so it's like i'd rather just do it in the evening because my hair does make a full 180 between now and like four hours okay we are oh this lighting's bad so we're gonna use my laptop not my fave thing to do but we move it's currently 6 31 this is the current state of it this side of my hair is definitely still wet um this side is drying i'd say it's about 30 percent dry as you can see my hair is already shrinking up it's still flat no volume all right i can tell it's drying because it's getting a little crunchy just like scrunch it a little bit as we go i um, just to prevent that a little bit um but not too much because i don't want to make my hair frizzy so it's really just like a if i feel like i'm gonna do it or if i feel like i need it i'm gonna do it but if i don't feel like i need to scrunch my hair i'm not gonna do it because why stress myself out and do that and ruin my hair yeah i'm really not doing anything right now besides editing catching up on Aaliyah's face, her travel vlog, and looking at my analytics and planning content. This is such a side note, but let me show y'all something. I'll see this long ass list, okay? I still have to do these things tonight. It's for homework, it's only 6.30, so 
I still have time. But I was not playing with y'all this week when it came to the content. Literally, I have TikTok and YouTube Shorts content all scheduled slash ready to post like literally up until sunday the only thing that i have to worry about posting and still like filming this week is this video that i'm doing right here and today is the six i'm not i'm not playing with y'all like even into early next week i have stuff ready like i am not playing with y'all i really hope i can keep this up people always ask me leah how do you stay so like productive and stuff in school with content creation rah rah rah, rah ki 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 baby if it wasn't for notion which is what i just showed you we would not be here uh between notion apple calendar we would not be here also i forgot to tell y'all this is kind of like a giving because i feel like nobody's curl pattern super consistent this side of my hair's curls are so much more limp than this side like they're so much tighter on this side and because they're tighter they shrink this side of my head is just like i'm gonna give it like 3a maybe 3b on a good day but some pieces are just so like long and instead of curly they're like wavy it's odd so usually i just finger coil those later in the week but yeah like what is up with this one long piece and watch as soon as i cut that little piece off it's gonna shrink right up and be uneven all around like i feel like i can't win but that's another issue for another day so this is my hair right now um she's kind of cute welcome to curly hair lessons with Aaliyah. i'm your host Aaliyah, and today we're gonna be talking about hair porosity if you don't know what hair porosity is hair porosity is basically the process of how your hair absorbs liquids and moistures there's three types of hair porosity low high and normal high porosity hair hair gets wet very very easily so it obtains moisture a lot easier than low porosity hair if you have low porosity hair it probably takes you a little bit longer to get your hair wet if you're curious about your hair porosity because you feel like you can't tell a common tip to actually testing this out is chopping off a tiny piece of your hair and putting it in a a glass of water and if it floats you have low porosity but if it sinks to the bottom you have high porosity and if it stays kind of in the middle you probably have normal but that being said thank you for coming to curly hair tips with Aaliyah and let's get back into our regularly scheduled program hi <laughs> it's like nine something i have the exact time stamp since i'm filming this on my phone but it's like nine something another hair update she shrank that's what my hair does it's what all curly hair does but it doesn't look bad this is kind of what we're working with this little hair always separates from the front it's really not bad it actually looks kind of good. It's just flat. It's like 80% dry. We're still waiting for this little like crown. Can you even see that? This little crown section right here to fully dry because it still feels a little cold to the touch, but we're almost there. Um, I'll probably give it like another hour or so. I'm gonna shower for the night. I will be throwing that shower cap on because I don't want to ruin my hair. Also kind of the bottom still needs to dry. Part of me just wants to diffuse it. Cause like, if it's mostly dry, I don't think it can get too frizzy. But yeah, this side always gets more frizzy first compared to this one. I don't know why, cause it's not like I touch this side more, I actually touch this side more. So yeah, I just, I just, I told you, we're getting somewhere. My hair is taking its sweet time today. I don't know if it's because it's cold in this house or what, but she's taking her sweet time. I need her to hurry up cause I literally can't go to sleep until it's fully dry. everybody uh, how are we today it's day three i got up a little while ago i was supposed to have class today but my period is starting you know how that goes like i'm 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 not gonna sugarcoat it i don't feel that well um my stomach hurts my head hurts for some reason every time my period starts the sides of my butt are really sore and like the sides of my knees but it's only when my period starts super weird don't really know what that's about but i thought i should show you guys my little day two Woo! This is my hair right off the wake up. It doesn't look as bad. It's definitely not as big as it normally is considering I didn't pick it out last night because I fell asleep because I started not feeling well last night. Um, This is what my hair looks like right off the wake up. No pick, just took my bonnet off, just took it out of the hair tie I was in. Usually when it comes to doing my hair, I just put it in a pineapple and put a bonnet on a call today. Some people use scarves, some people use other things. I'm not one of those people. So thankfully my hair's obviously, it's doing pretty well today. I'll give her that. She's a little flat though. Not flat, but just not as big as I would want. So I'm just gonna go ahead and with this pick and call today. I love when my hair is big. My hair being big is a part of my personality. All I really like to do is take the pick and go to my roots and tug it just a little bit. I lift different parts up. 
make sure everything is pretty even, especially the back, because I notice that I tend to I forget the back a lot, but I pay extra attention to like the sides because I feel like my hair, when it's picked out, it frames my face very well and very naturally. So honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you, this is probably all we're gonna do to my hair today because it looks actually really good. Like, do <sighs> are you serious? My day two hair always looks so good and I know it's only gonna get bigger throughout today. I really don't have like a set method for picking my hair. I just pick it to my liking. And right now I think the size is pretty good, but in the back still feels flat. So yeah, I'm just picking my hair today. I don't even think I'm gonna do my edges or anything like that. We're just gonna leave it 100% natural and out. No extra thing. Typically I like to bring my hair to the sides as you can see, but it's a little uneven just because my hair low key grew into a natural like wolf cut and it's very, very, very annoying. So the back is definitely gonna shrink up by itself. Let me see how it looks in the back. Yeah, my hair definitely like, <laughs> it evens out. I promise it evens out. And if it doesn't, I just pull it up to the sides like this and literally call it a day. And since I have a hoodie on, it makes it a little bit easier to hide that extra length. Like literally the perfect low maintenance day that I really needed because I'm really not trying to do the most with it today. Like I just, I really don't feel like it. My body hurts, I'm sore. My stomach is hurting. Like this is, this is exactly what I needed. My hair thinks it has a natural middle part. Baby, no, you're a side part girly at heart. Like I just think this is so much more flattering. You look better with the middle part, da, da, da. Me personally, I'm gonna always rock the side part because I feel like it's more flattering. Who cares if a little bit of this big ass forehead is showing? I'm gonna use this Eva NYC Just Glisten Body and Hair Shine Mist. Add shine enhances curls and it's weightless. So I'm just gonna... I don't like to use a lot. This literally smells like um hairspray, but it doesn't even have like a wet consistency. I don't know what you would call this consistency. I know it's some sort of liquid, but just to make my hair a lot shinier, I like to use this um, because it's fun. And I like to flip my hair back and forth. It adds a little bit more volume, nothing too crazy. But yep, this is this is the hair we're rocking with today. I think this is a great day too. I feel like my hair could definitely be bigger. I kind of want to wear my hair out again tomorrow just to see how big it can actually get. Um, it definitely will get bigger throughout today because y'all know I'm constantly fiddling with my hair. Um, it's a really bad habit, but it's not my fault that my hair has a mind of its own. She looks good today. I'm not mad about this. I'm not mad about this at all. And welcome to how to sleep with curly hair. Sleeping with curly hair does not have to be hard. No more waking up and your curls are flat, dead, lifeless. The first thing to do is go ahead and prep your hair to go into a bonnet and or scarf. My favorite thing to do is put my hair in a pineapple and then put my bonnet and or scarf on. My personal favorites are bonnets from Scotch Bonnets by Danny. Go ahead and put on your silk or satin bonnet. This can be a scarf, a bonnet, anything that's gonna protect your hair. If you wanna be extra careful because I know y'all bonnet it's be coming off at night. My Scotch Bonnets by Danny could never, but I digress. Make sure you put a silk or satin pillowcase on your pillows at night. With that being said, you can literally just go to sleep and call it a day. It's really not that hard. Thank you for tuning in for Curly Hair Tips with Leah. Go ahead and continue on with our regularly scheduled program. I am not right off the wake up. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. This is not right off the wake up because I actually got up and got McDonald's this morning for breakfast. I do something with my hair. And also to document how I put my hair up last night because I didn't. I slept right in that pineapple with no bonnet. Don't scream at me, I know it's bad. I kinda wanna do a half up, half down today. I feel like I haven't done one of those in so, 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 so long. My hair right after taking it down out of the bun. She's still going strong. My curls are still very defined as of today. I could leave my hair like this. I wouldn't mind leaving my hair like this, but because I feel like I wore my hair out yesterday and I'm going to class tomorrow, I feel like I should definitely do something with it. My hair is huge right now and I didn't expect it to get this big this fast. I'm not going to lie to you. Current state of my hair, it's huge. I love it. I haven't picked it out today or nothing. The back is definitely flat, so don't don't look at it. I'm gonna be taking some water, a edge toothbrush. I'm also gonna be taking some of this mousse and some leave-in conditioner and a very skinny hair tie. Part of me wants to do a claw clip, but I feel like I do a claw clip all the time. So we're gonna try to switch it up today. I'm gonna try to use very minimal water because that means I'm just gonna have to wait for my hair to dry. Literally whenever I hear water, I get scared because 
I'm gonna have to wait hours for my hair to dry because I don't diffuse my hair like I said before. So basically what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take out two tiny pieces in the front. I'm gonna take starting by my ears and I'm gonna go upwards in a triangle shape. I know this is very hard to see because you're so far away. I'm gonna take the slightest bit and I mean slightest bit of water and I'm gonna put some leave-in conditioner down as my base. Save myself some time. I'm gonna claw clip. Actually, I'm gonna hair tie this back. Oh, so I don't have to keep trying my hardest to keep it out the way. A lot of people used to ask me, you know, when I used to live in slick bags, and I still do a really killer slick bag. How do you keep your hair so smooth? Da, da, da. I'm telling y'all, you can't just be putting straight gel on your hair. Like, it's gonna make it look crunchy. Just because you slicking that hair up, doesn't mean you can't put nothing in it. I'm not in the mood to gel my hair down because it is still fairly soon after I wash my hair and I want to be able to co-wash my hair if I want to wear it back down. So I'm going to be taking that move. So I was talking about earlier in the video, working my way through that top part. Now usually uh, back in my newer curly girl days, like when I big chop and I would do hairstyles like this, I typically would wet my entire head and refresh the entire head. I have just learned that that's not always practical. Now I have time today because I don't have class, but I just didn't feel like doing it that method today. But something I will be doing is adding a little bit of leave-in conditioner because I feel like my hair does look a little bit dry. So you're going to get a mini hair refresh today. If there's anything you should know about high porosity hair, Baby, you gonna have to refresh. Like, and my hair refreshes don't take long because of how often I have to do it. I have noticed the more I wash and refresh my hair, the easier they get. I try not to like refresh it too much because like I said, I already run through products very, very, very quickly. Maybe I still gotta do it because I feel like my hair be looking dry and I don't want that to happen. I kinda want my hair to get a little less big today. Water um, and the little bit of leave-in conditioner I am gonna add is definitely gonna weigh that down. I'm also going to take a little bit of that foam and I'm going to take some leave-in conditioner and apply it to these little pieces so they're not as frizzy. Some people prefer the frizzy look. Uh, it really just depends on the day. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. for the hair routines, hairstyles, this, that, and the third. I'm trying my best. If it doesn't make any sense, y'all can always ask me questions in the comments and everything like that. I'm my best to answer them. But here's today's hair. I'm about to go throughout my day. I might vlog a little bit. This is supposed to be like a hair focused video. So I'm over here like, okay, so just film your hair and that's it. But I guess I'll show you the rest of my week a little bit, not too in depth because it's not a week in my life, it's a week in my hair and my hair is in fact the focus here. We'll see where the day takes us. I know where it's taking me, but you don't yet. So it's a surprise to everybody. Well, not me, just you, if that's okay. You're always down for the ride. Hence the reason you're still here. You cannot tell me this look is not cute, please. I feel like a little pretty princess. Are you kidding me? Now, if I didn't wear my glasses today, I feel like it would be even better. Ooh, I don't know if it's the little things in the front or my hair or my little low-key, low-minimum makeup. I don't know what it is, but she's doing it for me. I feel so cute. Like, are you serious? Like, who is she? I wanna say hi to Cash Cash before we leave. Y'all haven't seen him this entire video i believe cash cash hi honey hi you look who texted me you look so handsome i can't remember i think it was on tiktok i did like a day in my life using pictures and i took cash to the vet and a lot of you like were asking about him on um, and if you didn't see the post cash was fine it turns out he just had a little like stomach virus fine now though he's gaining weight or he's just hairy he's getting his valentine's day haircut this sunday so the day that this is going up we have to edit we have some homework we have some things to do so let's head to the shops
it's later in the day i didn't bring my camera i'm at the gas station and my bookie is pumping my gas um the only No. <laughs> I need a gas. I needed gas and groceries. That's why I drove. I was told we're doing a fit check. Y'all know what I have. Fit check, fit check. Come no. Give me right. No. Talking. It's literally like eight in the morning. Like, I don't feel like talking. And that is exactly what I did. I did not speak while refreshing my hair this morning, so I'm just gonna talk you through. So the night before, I gathered up the bottom half of my half up, half down, and put it on a ponytail, hence the reason I took it out. I took some water, some leave-in conditioner, focusing on my ends, because they were a little dry, and I added some more mousse to get that curl definition back. Really easy, refreshing process. I will say, I feel like I added a little bit more product than I really needed because my hair took a little bit to dry, hence the reason I'll be blow drying it soon. But quite frankly, I was not in the mood to talk because I had classes. It was literally like 7.45 in the morning, hence the reason I said I don't want to talk. I was really focusing on just refreshing and making sure my hair wasn't dry while also maintaining it and making it look neat or like i just did this this morning which i think i did successfully because i mean it came out really good so i just took that same hair tie that was in there the day before because i actually redid the ponytail entirely or at least just the top to make it look neater and this is how it looked i decided to refresh those two little ant antennas as well as i'm going to call them in the front because you know they needed it they look a little dry and yeah i decided to also refresh those two pieces on the sides and that's pretty much it for the hairstyle for today nothing too crazy i didn't want to talk but like i said before i did blow dry it because i had some extra time and this is probably the only time you ever see me blow drying my hair because i had somewhere to be and i didn't want my hair soaking while i was out this day Welcome to Curly Hair Tips with Aaliyah. I am your host, Aaliyah, and I'm here to teach you how to detangle your hair in less than 45 seconds. When it comes to detangling your hair, I am a firm believer that you need to have something in it in order to do it correctly. That means water and something with a lot of slip. My favorite personal products is the Eva NYC hair mask or the Suave Conditioner. Now, after penetrating your hair with a lot of water and things with a lot of slip, you need to work in sections. As somebody who used to love to do it all at once, yes, I know it's sick, but I was in fact doing it. It's sick work, I know. Four sections, six sections, eight sections, seven sections, if you're a weirdo and you like odd numbers, get whatever tool of you desire. It could be a dimming brush, a wide tooth comb, or even your fingers if you're in a finger detangling. Go from ends to roots so you can really work those knots and tangles out because if you do it too high at once, you will have a lot of tension on your hair for absolutely no reason. Now, with that being said, I hope you learned a little something and thank you for once again stopping in for Curly Hair Tips with Aaliyah. I've been your host, Aaliyah, and let's get back to our regularly scheduled program. Hi! From my bathroom once again as I whiten my teeth for my weekly whitening slash maintenance for my teethers. It's the last day. So my boyfriend just went to Paris. Hasn't even been 24 hours and I miss him dearly. He just left for Paris like a couple hours ago. I'm also watching um, Rumi's new video. Kin, that's cousin. Hey, Buki. Anyway, this time's the last day of a week in my curly hair. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing with my hair today. And quite frankly, we're going to keep this very simple, easy, and to the point. I wore my hair like this to sleep last night. When I wear a half up, half down, I literally just gather the part that's down pull it up and put it in a ponytail because my hair is officially too long for buns like in that kind of pineapple sense so like if i were to leave it like this this is what my pineapple would look like and i feel like it's a great length for hair period like i feel like my hair is finally at a nice little length but in a pineapple um she's not my favorite look what we're gonna be doing today is simply pulling this through twice okay and we're gonna rock this as a super voluminous ponytail today. My boyfriend saw me with my hair up and he was like, that's really cute. I really like that. And the more I looked at it, I was like, yeah, she is really cute and she is really good. And I do really like that. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be adding a little bit more moisture to this head because it looks a little dry to me in my humble opinion. Although it's a ponytail, I still prefer if my hair looks moisturized because I'm not trying to look chopped. So I'm gonna start with touching up the top of my hair, which was formerly known as the up part of the half up, half down. With some water, I'm gonna apply some leave-in conditioner. And when it comes to styles like this, I typically don't like try because that's the whole point. If I do continue to show you weeks of my curly hair, something you will notice is that I will take one hairstyle and make it last, especially if it's my natural hair. Now if it's like locks or braids or something like that, it'll be a little different because like 
I can style in different ways, but I just don't feel like experimenting with my hair back to back to back because I believe in giving my hair breaks. Let's just say getting like more use out of a hairstyle than there originally was going to be. Usually when it comes to ponytails and having my hair up, I'm not the biggest fan of, but this is the first time I've ever worn my hair in a ponytail. I was sitting here thinking about it and I was like, there's no way that I've never worn my hair just like in a regular ponytail since I cut it. And I can't remember the last time I did because it's just been so long and I'm usually just like, oh, pineapple bun because my that's like how long my hair was and that's what i thought it looked like that's what i thought it looked the best in like a pineapple or bun because of the length we've progressed the hair has grown she's grout and she's she's doing her thing i promise y'all i'm not balding on the sides of my head that's literally just my hairline and the fact that i had so much hair pulled out on the side on accident and y'all didn't even tell me the shit i be talking about y'all be trying to do me dirt now i see it I see the antics, like even this is still too much. My hair is just thin, so if there's not a lot of hair in an area, baby, it's gonna look like there's nothing there. But this is literally just my hairline. I promise you I have hair right here. <laughs> like I, I, I literally promise it was just because of where I parted the little side pieces a couple days ago. I promise I have hair right there. And if I didn't, that would have been fine, but I feel like somebody, well then again, this isn't TikTok. On TikTok, somebody might have tried to clock me and called me like I had a bald spot, but this is YouTube and people are actually like a lot nicer on here. That's my little refresh of the sides of my head. Now I'm not going to take any edge control or gel to do my edges. I'm just going to take leave-in conditioner and this toothbrush and hope that we can make some shake because I am not the biggest edge person. I really don't know how to do them if we're being honest. Like I feel like this is like acceptable. Like it's okay, but I feel like edges just, they just don't match like my face in my opinion. Or like my head shape like I don't know if I'm just doing them in the wrong places but they really don't add anything everything's brushed up key 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 my hair does look a little bit dry but I just took some water and we're spraying this entire thing and because I'm not using too much water the volume shouldn't go down too much and you already know I'm going with this leave-in conditioner not even that much and scrunching and applying and making her look less dry and i personally don't like um brushing the back of my head when it comes to like buns and ponytails whatever you want to call it just because i think it adds a little bit more messiness and fullness to the look and quite frankly i also don't like my head shape and when i brush it out it emphasizes that so i'd rather just you know not <laughs> main reasons but of course we're going with the end but eva nyc just glisten shine for the hair also sorry i'm talking to you while i'm whitening my teeth that's kind of rude of me but i thought we were on like a you know good type of basis you know something like that the hairstyle for the day i'm literally just staying home editing this video like i'm literally filming the last day today which is the day before it ends so i'm filming the like last portions of that like little segments this day because i filmed it perfect or i lined it up perfectly to where i can like film and finish the day before so here's the hairstyle for today i think it's cute i didn't really think i would like myself with ponytails i think what's also helping is that these two little pieces i left out from the hairstyle before are also here still so i think it's helping frame my face a lot more in a more flattering way so yeah here's my little hairstyle for the day as you can see my uneven curl patterns are really showing through with this side being perfectly the same length and then we turn and she's all over the place very on brand this is the last day and yeah let me know what y'all think of the new hairstyles i guess these are like new hairstyles for y'all and me so yep thank y'all y'all have a good week <laughs>